Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I am here checking out this brand new 2023 Jeep Wrangler four-door Rubicon. It is in the all-new Earl clear coat color. Uh, paint code on that is PGP. And I'm excited to get a video on this one because I think this one's optioned out uh, really well, including the color. And I think everybody's gonna really like this video and really like this Jeep in particular because of all the nice options it does have on it, starting with the four-door and the Rubicon package. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video. If you like it or learn anything, please give me a like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. We'll also check out the original window sticker at the end of this video, so stick around for that. I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you a couple Easter eggs as well in this video, so. Uh, pay attention real close. We're gonna get started off with one pretty quick here. First off, it does have the satin black grill by Mopar, which is an option on this vehicle. And the first Easter egg you get is the Jeep logo right there on the center of the headlight. Uh, that's pretty cool. It has the factory fog lights. You get the red tow hooks with the Rubicon package. This one just has the normal plastic bumpers. And uh, this one also has the color match fender flares. Those are a $995 option, and you get the sports style hood on the Rubicon package as well. You also get the Rubicon lettering on the side. And one thing to note for 2023, they have gotten rid of the word unlimited for the Wrangler for the four doors. Now it's just Wrangler, so that's an interesting fact on the 2023. You also get these sandals and the plastic shroud here. You also get the Jeep climbing up the side, so that's two more Easter eggs. I think we're at three right now. Uh, the other option that this one has are the special painted and polished aluminum wheels. You also get a Jeep on there. I don't know if that's really an Easter egg, but uh, something that Jeep does. This one comes with the BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2 tires. That L These are LT28570 R17s, and they definitely have an all-terrain tread pattern to them. So... Uh, really good for off-roading and everything. The other thing that the Rubicon package gives you are these rock rails right there to keep your body of your vehicle um, looking good and free from damage when you're going over obstacles. Uh, you can see this one has the T50 on there. That's to let you know which Torx wrench to get up those doors off with. Um, we actually did a video on how to take your doors off of your JL Wrangler. That video is linked in the description below. Four-wheel disc brakes on the Wrangler package. Now this one comes with the soft top. You can see it's a really nice heavy-duty canvas material for that soft top. It does have these windows that come off um, when you take the soft top down. And it actually comes with a bag, which is an option uh, to put those in. You get the heavy-duty trailering package on this one with the receiver hitch. Four pin, four pin and seven pin wiring right there. You get the red tow hook back here. Get a little bit better look at that tread pattern. So that's pretty cool. This one has the enter and go system. There is the bag for those soft top uh, window pieces and you can kind of see how they go in there a little bit. You do get a storage area back here. You also have spots for your door hinge, roof, and windshield bolts. This uh, piece right here is kind of just snapped into place, but you can roll that up um, for a little bit better access back here. Has the Alpine premium sound system to get this soft, or uh, if this had a hard top, I'd show you how to get that off. We did a video on that as well, um, so check that out. Um, one little Easter egg that's often missed is the seven slotted grill in the front or in the back here, just like the grill in the front. Um, Jeep says it's to signify all the continents that uh, Jeep has been on, and uh, other people say different things, but that's what Jeep says. So, two door, four door, wheelbase and overall length badge back here. It also gives you water fording and where it's built. So, that's pretty neat as well. One thing to note on the uh, JL, they made that these uh, gates a little bit lighter. I think they're made out of partial aluminum now. Not really an Easter egg, but something to note. Uh, you get the 3M tape 
rock guards on the front of your back fenders, and that's to help prevent from rock chips from the front tires kicking up rocks. Um, if you ever saw any of these come in used or seen any used ones, you'll know that the old JKs had a big problem with that. Now here's one of the most or least known Easter eggs on the Wrangler. If you look at the drive shaft right there, there is a Jeep um, right there. Seven slide grill with the headlights and that is on the drive shaft. That is a little known Easter egg on the Wranglers for 2023. They might have done it years sooner, but one of the current ones. And of course, the seven slotted grill on the front here. Uh, quick notes on this one. This one's gonna get you 24 miles per gallon on the highway, 19 city for an average of 21 miles per gallon. It has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. This one has the rock track part-time four wheel drive system. Uh, that's a, I believe an 800 some dollar option. Inside you also get the leather trimmed bucket seats with the red stitching with the Rubicon package. Really nice feature there. Also has the cold weather group, which gives you the heated seats, heated steering wheel, and the leather wrap steering wheel. Red stitching on that as well. Auto headlamps, power windows, power, I'm sorry, power mirrors, power locks, power window buttons are in there. Here's the original window sticker. I told you we'd go over this. So check that out. I'm not gonna go through everything, but just some of the main points. Feel free to pause it. Earl clear coat is the color. Black interior, 3.6, eight speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left here is your standard equipment. So that comes with the Rubicon package um, standard. And then your optional equipment starts with the Earl clear coat, which is 495, leather trim bucket seats, which is 1995. Cold weather group is 1395, gives you the heated seats, remote start, heated steering wheel. Trailer tow and heavy duty electrical group is 1195, gives you auxiliary switches, 700 amp maintenance free battery, class two receiver hitch, seven and four pin wiring harness. The soft top window storage bag, which we saw in the back is a $75 add on. The eight speed automatic transmission is 4,250 bucks. Select speed control, uh, you get four to one rock track, heavy duty full time, I'm sorry, full-time four-wheel drive system is $895. The 3.6 engine is also included in that. And then the satin black grill by Mopar is $325. The color match fender flares or Highline flare is $995. And then those tires are $495. And then the special wheels are $1245. Total MSRP is $62,650. If you want to get your summit price with all the rebates, incentives, and availability on this vehicle, in the upper right-hand part of the screen is a link to our website. Also a link in the description below. Um, so click those and get your summit price there. Three year 36 bumper to bumper and five years 60. 24 miles per gallon highway 20, 19 city for an average of 21 miles per gallon. Safety ratings front crash are four stars, rollovers three, and that's it. So uh, the other thing I wanna show you back here is how these back seats go down because uh, they do go down really nice. They get on really nice and flat and they're easy to put down. There's plenty of space. The old JKs were really hard to get those seats down sometimes. Um, and then the other thing that's a benefit over the old JKs is that these headrests go down when they're upright. So it's better visibility if you're driving with nobody back here. You also get the latch child safety system if you wanna put car seats. And the other th nice thing is if you are putting car seats back here, that extra room is really helpful. Actually, one of the reasons I got rid of my JK is because I ended up having twins and needing car seats, so they didn't really fit in the Wrangler that well. Two USBs, two USB-Cs, and then you get a 150 volt, 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in right there. So those are nice as well, charge stuff. And you do get child safety locks in the back doors. We'll take a quick look at the radio and everything, and then we'll do a final walk around here. So this one does come with the seven inch LCD display. You get the nice Rubicon animation at the beginning there. Since 1941, you also get the digital speedometer, compass display. You can change those corners to read whatever you want. It's pretty nice. Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, cruise controls on the right. You do get audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. It does have a push button start. Keyless entry with remote start has the flipper key. Really like that. Um, 
always have liked those on the Wranglers since they came out with the JL. This one does have the 8.4 4C radio, does have the factory navigation system on there, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. The other thing I like about the JLs is the backup cameras are standard and they are high definition, so they are crystal clear, um, really easy to see what's going on back there. And you can get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time. Every time um, makes it really nice. You also get all your different apps on here. It has off-road pages, projection manager. Where you can project your cell phone to the screen. We actually did a demo on Android Auto. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right-hand part of the screen. And then off-road pages, they take a second to load. So while they're loading, you do get the more tactile volume tune and climate controls down here. You may be lost but never stuck in a Wrangler. Um, and then you have your off-road pages. So you get steering angle. Now as you turn the steering wheel left, it goes three degrees, turn it right. You can see those tires up top uh, turn as well. You also have sway bar if it's connected or disconnected, axle if it's locked or unlocked, and the rear axle if it's locked or unlocked. So um, gives you a lot of information here. Also, if you're in two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive high, four-wheel drive low, four-wheel drive part-time, um, so Cool stuff there latitude longitude you also get altitude there accessory gauges and pitch and roll which is really nice if you're doing a lot of off-roading which if you're buying a wrangler rubicon you're probably going to be doing some off-roading so that page would be very handy right there uh, start stop stability control that's your speed select control um, you get a usb c usb and an aux jack there your window controls down here is your front and rear locking uh, axle or just the rear off-road mode plus and the sway bar disconnect this is what makes a rubicon a rubicon um, so these are the main things that differentiate the rubicon from all the other trim levels is that extra off-road capability with those um, options right there you get the four auxiliary up fit switches that's part of that trailer and heavy duty electrical group eight-speed automatic transmission and then this is the uh, full-time uh, four-wheel drive system so you can put it in auto or part-time neutral and four low and two high and you get the red dash on the Rubicon package it's kind of grown on me over the years and that's what the uh, inside of the soft top looks like these soft tops are pretty easy to open up get assist and SOS buttons auto dimming mirror and then the home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. We'll do a final walk around here. And uh, really appreciate you checking out the video. Earl clear coat, I think it's a really good looking color. Uh, one of the new colors for 2023. The other one is rain purple, which I believe had a limited edition run and we actually never saw one on our lot or if we are getting one we haven't got it yet um so if we do get one i will definitely do that video as well anyways thanks for checking out the video and hope this was helpful and informational for you found all the easter eggs that we could and uh, to see more pictures of this jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars trucks suvs minivans wranglers you name it we got to go to that website right there summitauto.com full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations all at summitauto.com one of the largest jeep selections for new and used in wisconsin and uh, if you want to check out more hd videos you can go to youtube.com summitauto click the bell notifications and you'll get updates on the videos i do each and every day here at summit automotive in fact in a second you will see a link to subscribe to my youtube channel in the upper left a link to more wrangler videos i've done in the upper right a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left and a link to one of our latest youtube videos in the lower right click those check us out and we're super excited to help you with this brand new 2023 jeep wrangler four-door rubicon and earl clear coat thanks again for checking out the video remember to like subscribe and share the youtube channel i really appreciate it thanks again